New Zealand's Mental Health Act turns 21 next month, with a group putting together a new book that has concerns with the legislation. Issues with the overuse of community treatment orders and Māori over-representation under compulsory treatment have surfaced, with the book discussing these growing problems. Author and Faculty of Law Professor John Dawson is here to tell us about the book and the issues surrounding the Act. Good evening. Good evening. Tell us a little bit about your book and why it was put together. Well, it's put together to mark the 21st year of the Act. We wanted to commission a thorough, professional, well-researched review of the strengths and weaknesses of the legislation, which is the main law governing compulsory psychiatric treatment in New Zealand. But we didn't want to turn it into a political football, so we've kept it largely academic uh, mm. and professional review. And what are your concerns about mental health laws in this country? Well, we're focused on both the design of the Act and its implementation. We think the basic structure of the legislation is sound, the assessment process and the independent reviews for patients, and the family consultation regime and the community treatment order scheme in principle are sound. But we're worried about over-representation over of Māori under the Act and apparent increasing use of the compulsory community treatment regime over the last five years, which is largely unexplained. A number of people have raised concerns, haven't they? Well, they have, and our authors are diverse. Mental health nurses, Māori psychiatrists, consumer advocates, human rights lawyers. It's a diverse range of people feeding into the book. Now, you say that uh, the numbers have increased significantly in compulsory treatments and Maori over-representation as well. How significant has the rise been? Well, the Ministry of Health's own figures show that the number under compulsory community treatment has increased by about 40% in the years 2005 to 2011, from about 65 people per 100,000 to 80 people per 100,000. What do you see, what would you like to see done in the future to, to lower those numbers? Well, we'd like to see widespread reflection on whether it's really necessary, mm. uh, whether or not there's too much defensive practice and application of the Act, whether we're over-concerned about security and risk, and we'd like to see more reflection on the benefits of voluntary treatment, choice and liberty for people who are suffering from serious mental illness. Mm. Now tell us about the book launch, where and when, how? Uh, well it's being launched through a series of five conferences throughout the country. The first one's in Dunedin next Tuesday and then Christchurch, Wellington, Auckland and Hamilton and everyone attending the conferences will get a copy of the book. Uh, and we should um, publish about 500 copies to most of the interested people in the country by Christmas. It's published by Victoria University Press and available through their website for $50. And 21 years, are there any other celebrations or things being done to mark the occasion? Uh, well, there will be a, a meeting at the Auckland Law Faculty as well to mm. celebrate this and media attention, we hope, will be devoted to it. Yes, 28th of November is the actual day for the five years, 25 years of the Act. Mm. Author and Faculty of Law Professor John Dawson, thanks very much for your time. Thank you very much.